Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Esther. Thank you, my subscriber, for all your support. If you're here for the first time, thank you for clicking this video. Please support me by subscribing and clicking on the bell icon to get notified each time I upload a new video. Today's tutorial is this lovely must-have airline dress. Do you know why I call it a must-have for every lady? It's a smart, fashionable, nursing friendly, pregnancy friendly. It has pockets. Did I say pockets? Oh, enough of me ranting. Let's get started with the tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm using three yards of print fabric, a plain fabric, a zipper, my sleeve block, and a bodice block. If you need help drafting your sleeve and a bodice block, please check the description box for a link to it. To my bodice block, note that there is no seaming allowance added to it. I like using a pencil, but for the purpose of visibility, I'll use a marker. So to start with, I have to determine my dress length. I want my dress to be 43 inches long. I'm going to join my craft paper to make it 43 inches long here. And I'll mark 43 inch across. If you use a pencil, that won't spoil your bodice block. After getting my dress length, the next adjustment will be on the waist line. My dart measurements, I am taking that out on my waist line. My dart was one inch and I just marked one inch out. At this point, I will connect the point, but before then, I will add certain inches to my hip measurement. Take your hip measurements, add a minimum of three inches to it. I am adding five inches. If it's a floor length, add a minimum of eight inches to it. So here I'm going to connect it. Connect my waist to my arm, then get a longer ruler and connect from your waist to your dress hem. Like so. Now, a quick recap. I only took out one inch from my waistline, then flay it out by adding five inch to my hip measurement. So here I'm going up by 1.5 inches at my dress hem and I'll use my hip cuff and cuff the hem of my dress out. To the front neck deep, I'll mark 2.5 inches. Note that there is no shoulder seaming allowance. With the shoulder seaming allowance, it will be three inches. But here it's 2.5. That's for the front. The neck width is three inches for both the front and the back. But the deep is half an inch for the back. The front is 2.5 inches, while the back is half an inch without any allowance. So at this point, I'm going to redress and add shoulder allowance, shoulder seaming allowance and seaming allowance generally to my pattern piece. I'll redress it in a fresh pattern paper. So I'll be combining both the front and the back in one pattern paper. So here it is dressed out with my seaming allowance. I'm marking 19.5 inches for pockets. At this point, I will mark it. This will be where my pockets will sit. And I will go down by seven inches since my pockets will have a seven inch opening. After doing this, all I will do is notch when I cut. So now I'll place my back piece on fold. My fabric is on fold. 
I will cut out my back pattern. Or should I say the back of my dress using my pattern? After cutting it out, I will set it aside. See, it's cut on fold. And I will adjust my pattern and to cut the front. I'll be using a paper for this illustration. The reason for using a paper is because I don't want my fabric to distort the view. So here, make sure you add 10 inches. That is five inch on fold to your fabric before cutting. So here, I'm going to mark out five inch and draw a line. I'll place my pattern at that five inch mark. Then I've located my boss point. If you haven't done that, please go ahead and locate your boss point. If you only have a chest line on your pattern, please. My boss point is one inch away from my chest line. So yours might be 1.5 or 1 inch, it might vary. So this is my boss point. I am putting a mark at my boss point and I'll come down by 1 inch. But for the purpose of this illustration on the pattern, uh, on the paper, I'm using a centimeter. So come down by 1 inch and draw square a line out. Then from that line squared out, come down by another one inch. So here, I'm a quick recap. Boss point, come down by one inch, square line out, and come down by another one inch. That is two inches from the boss point. Then I'll add my zip allowance. using one inch for my zip allowance. At this point, just place your pattern properly. At that five inch mark, then you're ready to cut. So this will serve as your front piece that will have an inverted plate. So after cutting, this is what it should look like when opened. Now to my main fabric. This is my boss point. I'm just explaining it again. This is my boss point. And this is the one boss point. And under it is a one inch that I marked to cut out and another one inch. That is two inches in total from the boss point. Notch. So you would know your center pleat and your center front. Then sew from the bust point to the two inch mark. After sewing, now use your scissors and cut slightly in a slant form. Please be careful not to cut the seam. Turn over your fabric, match your notch center pleats to your center front, like so, and sew with quarter inch seaming allowance. You can use half inch, but quarter inch is what I like to use. Turn it over. If you had slightly cut it out, it will be much easier for you to attach your zipper at this point. So see, mine is free because I cut it slightly. So now attach your zipper. If you need a detailed tutorial on how to attach a zipper to any garment, please comment on the comment section and let me know. After attaching your zipper, your front dress should look like this. I used an invisible zipper. 
So now, right sides together, bring your back face, right sides together. I'm going to join the back and the front face at the shoulder. I've gone ahead to cut out my sleeve using my sleeve block and my desired length of sleeve. So after joining it at the shoulder, I'm going to open the shoulder seam and I will attach my sleeve to my dress. So this is it. Sleeve attached. Now the pocket. Just make sure it has a 7 inch opening as we marked out on the pattern and it's sizable it can size your hem so how deep or shallow you want it to be is your preference there is no strict pattern to pocket making so here right sides together i'm going to attach my pocket pin it in place to my marked area that would be 19 inch now after sewing my shoulder seam so on the fourth side, pin it in place, then you sew. After sewing your pocket on the fourth side, push the raw edge towards your pocket and top stitch. This step is optional, but it makes the pocket lie flat. After top stitching, now it's time to sew your dress, the side of your dress. So using your seaming allowance, sew with your seaming allowance. When you get to the pocket area, go in and sew with half inch seaming allowance, back out and continue with your seaming allowance. Hem the bottom of the dress after sewing the sides. Here, my dress side has been sewn. The bottom has been hemmed. Now, I'm going to work on the neckline. Open the zip of your neck line. Open the zip of your dress. Measure around your neckline. Please be careful when you measure. Take your time and do the measurements because you don't want your collar piece to be smaller or bigger. So mine is 18 inch. So using a fusible interface, the fabric fusible interface, Though I have a paper feasible interface, but I choose to use the fabric for structure. So I'm going to mark out my measurements at this point. I'm dividing the points. Half the 18 inch I got that's 9 inch into 2. 8 inch for the back and 10 for the front. So I'll just use a ruler and draw a straight line. So at this point, I'm going to measure one and a quarter inch upward. one and a quarter inch i'll just pin my feasible interface in place so that it doesn't move around one and a quarter inch upward then i'll use my ruler and square a line So now, using my tape from that line I squared, I am going to go up by three quarter of an inch. That's three over four of an inch, three quarter of an inch. Having done that, I am going to make sure to Correct my line back to one and a quarter inch from that three quarter of an inch mark. So it's like replacing what I took away. So 
So at the end of the day, you can just confirm the measurements of your color that it's still the same. It's a uniform measurement, all true. But it's just that you had to lift it up at a point to create a slight curve. So to the edge of my color now, I am just going to curve that out. You can leave it straight, but I didn't want it straight, so I just place a slight curve just to curve that edge. So now I will cut it out at this point. So a quick recap, half of my neck measurement, round neck measurement, up by one and a quarter inch, then take three quarter inch away, then replace the three quarter inch from that point that I took it away. So I will cut my piece now. Now I will fold my plain fabric Using an iron, I will fuse the interface. After fusing the interface, I will top stitch closely. After sewing closely to the interface, I will cut it out. Then below, I will measure half inch seaming allowance from my fusible interface. half inch seaming allowance, draw that out and I will cut. Now, because the upper part of my collar was sewn, I can now turn my collar inside out. So I have half inch seaming allowance at the opening. I am going to fold one side in and I can iron that in. Then I'm going to sew on the other half inch. I will use that as my seaming allowance. Then we'll notch the center of the collar. Now it's time to attach your collar and also notch the center of your neck line. Match the center of the collar to the center of the neckline. Sorry, I didn't know I was out of focus at this point. Pin it in place. If you did your measurement correctly, your, your collar should fit like mine. So now after sewing, you push the raw edge inside the collar like so. Now use the other bend parts half inch seaming allowance and top stitch. Fold the half inch in and now you can top stitch. If you do that neatly, your finishing will look good and no thread poking out at the point. So now your dress is ready. Now you can go ahead and enjoy your dress. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos. See you in the next one. Thank you.